What do you think? Right on. Hmm. Listen. Got a sec? I appreciate it. Why would you want to speak with me? Thank you. I 
Hey, could you spare a moment? Hmm. I can't believe it. Wonderful. <laughs> Greetings. In actuality, Nice one. Hmm. Reminds me. Let's see. Truly. Shall we? Hmm. I have a strategy. Uh, hey. What if we tried... This. Just leave everything to me. Shall we? What do you think?
Edelgard. I'm glad I found you. Got a few? Of course. What is it? Well, remember how Hubert laid into me after the Knights of Saros raided Enbar? It got me thinking. What do I need to do for you to trust me again? Nothing. Hubert and I stopped doubting you the moment that business was behind us. You work tirelessly for me, and I'm grateful for that. So please, there's no need to worry. Still, we have no idea when those who slither in the dark might try to interfere again. Honestly, it kind of feels like there's more I should be doing to help. Like I'm just floating around without a purpose or something. Very well. What do you propose? Hmm. If I had to pick something, I'd say protecting you would be my top priority. Everyone's got a bone to pick with you. Especially the church and those who slither in the dark. And they won't rest till they have your head. After all, the Imperial Army's not gonna lose if we've got you at the top handing down orders. And I figure Hubert will stay off my back as long as I put my energy into keeping you safe. Then you can lead us to victory and we'll all live trustfully ever after. Perhaps, but I think you're forgetting something. The only way to protect me is by staying at my side, and therein lies a conundrum. Allowing you that close to me would in itself be proof of my trust, without which you would have never earned such an opportunity in the first place. I know that. Still, I can't help but feel like that's what I've got to do to prove myself to you. Please, Edelgard. Even if it just means shielding you from your enemies. <sighs> Very well. Do as you will. In the meanwhile, I'll tell Hubert... Well, I'm not entirely sure what I will tell him. At the very least, we know those who slither in the dark are able to shapeshift at will. So, in a way, it doesn't matter who I choose to surround myself with. They could just as well turn out to be someone wholly different. Thanks, Edelgard. I honestly could have sworn you were gonna say no. Of course. What I truly want to know is why you'd risk your life just to earn my trust. Do you really have to ask? You reshaped my entire life. Before I met you, I had nobody. I was nobody. But you still chose me of all people to command one of your armies. Now I can't walk down the street without people yelling my name. And I've got a great life surrounded by amazing friends. All of it possible because of you. That's not true. You would not have earned this post if you lacked the talent. Maybe now, but before you came along, nobody in the Empire gave a Pegasus's backside about talent. You gave me a seat at the table when no one else would. Ah, I see. If you want proof you've changed the world, just take a look at me. Because this gal, she's a whole new person thanks to you. Interesting. Her Majesty refrained from drinking tea today. A bit unusual, don't you think? I believe the last time that happened was 15 days ago. Ergo, we can conclude she tends to renounce the beverage when... Hey, remind me why I'm doing this again. What's the point of recording all this stuff? Why not just hang out with her? It is not stuff. These are Her Majesty's great exploits. They must be accurately recorded and preserved within the annals of Imperial history. Not sure I'd call her tea habits great exploits. No one's ever gonna need that information. And how do you remember all this? I couldn't even tell you what I had for breakfast this morning. 
remember everything Her Majesty does. Every word she has ever spoken to me. Every morsel she has ever eaten. Not to mention where and when she ate it. Every sigh that has escaped her lips. Each and every one of her favorite. Yeah, let's stop there. This is all sorts of weird. Why do you say that? These are simply records that need to be kept. Just think about it for a minute. Have you ever read a book on Adrestian history that lists the number of times an emperor sighed? There has never been a historian with a memory like mine, nor one who could keep such accurate records. Until now. The sole reason I have this excellent memory is to ensure that Her Majesty's great exploits are documented properly. But if your memory's so good, then there's no reason for me to help, is there? Oh, but there is. Her Majesty places a great deal of confidence in you. She often engages you in conversation, and the two of you spend an insufferable amount of time together. As such, you are able to obtain information I could not otherwise verify on my own. There is nobody more qualified than you to assist me in this undertaking. <sighs> all right, fine. I get that you're serious about all this. I don't mind lending a hand when I'm not busy. And there doesn't seem to be much harm in it. For Edelgard, anyway. Spoken like a true confidant of Her Majesty. How dependable of you! It's no wonder she trusts you more and more each day. Even if it is maddening. And so, the time has come for me to grant you a very special privilege. I will permit you to devote yourself to Her Majesty as a sign of your undying love. I'm honored, I guess. Does that mean you're not jealous of me anymore? I suppose not. We will be comrades, joined in our quest to bestow love and affection upon Her Majesty. Well, all right then. I wouldn't get your hopes up, though. I'm not really sure how I'd show my love for her, or if I'd even want to. Hmm. Very well. You clearly still fail to appreciate the full extent of Her Majesty's charm. However, I am confident you will come to your senses the more you assist me. I hope that one day you will ascend and become a true admirer of Her Majesty. Uh, yeah. You do that. there are you doing some research yeah I was just looking through records of past battles figure I'll probably run into some similar situations that's admirable of you I thought that someone with a mercenary background would be a little more reckless with their fighting oh wait I'm sorry that sounded a bit rude didn't it no you're right my fighting style was pretty loose when I was a mercenary. Actually, I can't say it's really changed that much. But I've got more responsibility now, so I've had to adjust some. Any mistakes I make would only cause problems for everyone else, right? Huh. You're much more studious than I thought. I can see why Edelgard trusts you so much. You really think I'm held in such high regard? That's what I've heard, at least. It's very impressive, especially since you're so young. Thanks, Lysithia. And the same goes for you, too. For a kid, you're amazing at what you do. Excuse me? Who is a kid? Huh? Well, you are. 
I must ask that you refrain from treating me like a child. Uh, I wasn't trying to... You said, and I quote, for a kid. I'm aware that people often treat me like a child, but to think you'd call me one directly to my face! I work harder and contribute more to this army than anyone else here! It is truly vexing that something as inconsequential as my age can dictate how people treat me. Uh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you hated being treated like a kid that much. <sighs> this is not a matter of like or dislike. My belief is that those who fight alongside each other should treat one another as equals. Well, yeah. I thought I was complimenting you as an equal, obviously. Then there is no need for any qualifying language. You should compliment me as you would anyone else. Hold on, didn't you tell me I was impressive for being so young? Doesn't that mean you assessed me based on my age, too? saying you're impressive in spite of your age is completely different than you saying I'm pretty good for a weak little baby. Pretty sure I didn't phrase it like that. But it's what you meant! Oh, I should have never complimented you! <sighs> you know, an adult wouldn't get all stubborn and combative like this. I am not being combative. I'm simply having a normal conversation with you. Is that a problem? What about this is normal to you? <laughs> Another rough night, Manuela? You could stand to learn some manners, you know. I had a little too much to drink yesterday, that's all. More importantly, you saw me perform, right? Yeah, I was at the inn. You really do have a beautiful voice. I was impressed. I told you so. But was it just my voice you were impressed with? Well, I mean, when you were singing in front of everyone, you looked stunning. Seriously. Is that how you always are when you perform for the people in town? Oh, please. In their dreams, maybe. Yesterday was a special occasion, because you were there. We had a deal, remember? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, hush money. You haven't told anyone, right? About what I said in my sleep and such? Nope, not one peep to anyone. Not even about the dream where you got dumped. Shh, don't go shouting about it now. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with you, even when you are hungover. Really? It makes you seem like a laid-back, mature woman. Just another interesting side of you. One day you're a physician saving lives, and the next, you're a warrior on the battlefield. I like all your sides. Like, you say? It's more like I can't take my eyes off you. All the more so now, since I've seen you sing and all. You have all these different sides that come together to form a complete person. Maybe that's what draws me in. It's like, which one is the real Manuela? Of course, the real me is the majestic diva shimmering in the spotlight. Ah, <sighs> if only. I'm not that delusional. Those days are long gone. Apparently, I've reached the age where I must take comfort in the glories of yesteryear. Do you really think so? I think you're probably way more attractive now than when you were all famous. Well, that's a solid gold pickup line. If only you were a handsome gentleman instead. Huh? 
Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Anyone would find you captivating is all. I like the way you think. Maybe you and I could sit down and plan out my future together. Actually, how does tonight sound? Oh, um, I've got some stuff I gotta do tonight. Sorry, maybe another time. Oh, really? Fine, we'll save it for another day. It'll give us more time to talk anyway. Just don't blow me off, okay? Or you'll be sorry. <laughs> uh, that was a joke, right? Manuela? Right? Bernadetta, listen. I'm sorry about what happened back there. Oh, it wasn't your fault. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I didn't realize things could even go that bad. I'm glad we managed to get you in front of the meanest looking guy in my company. But that didn't last long before the nerves got to you. Quickest I've ever seen someone run, let me tell you. And then I accidentally stepped on that horse's tail, so it started going wild and totally trashed the place. It'll probably take weeks for them to clean that up. Oh, you really did it this time, Bernie. Hey, we all make mistakes. Water under the bridge, you know? Yeah, thanks. That aside, though, you still want to do something about your shyness, right? I can see why this is a bigger problem than your whole staying indoors thing. Your anxieties can be quite the hurdle to overcome. You're right. But hey, I haven't been keeping to myself at all lately. Bernie's out in the open! Either way, now we know how things turn out when we try to force the issue. Looks like we're better off taking an incremental approach. How's that work? Well, we can start by having you hide nearby while I talk to someone you're afraid of. Then, I don't know, if the conversation gets interesting, maybe you can come out and join in? I'm not going to care whether it's interesting or not! It doesn't matter if they're serious or boring or the most fascinating person in the world! All I care about is that they don't scare me! Yeah, I guess that's gonna be tough to manage on its own, huh? Well, maybe the incremental approach won't actually be as hard as we think. Really? How do you figure? I mean, I did used to think you were pretty terrifying. But with all this stuff we've been doing together, I've actually gotten used to you. And now I'm not really shy around you, am I? <laughs> I'm not exactly flattered to hear that, but, well, I guess I'll just be glad I don't scare you anymore. Sounds like spending time with someone is the key, which means we'll just have to toss you straight into the deep end and see if you can swim. Ah, no, not the deep end! I hate the deep end! Sorry, sorry, just messing with you. Anyway, here's hoping you and I can keep getting closer, Bernadetta. Right. Hmm. Well, Bernie, you were nothing but trouble for everybody yet again. <sighs> there you are. I was worried when you failed to appear at mealtime. Ah! I'm fine! All quiet here! Please do not tell me your hunger was so great that you resorted to eating those plants there. You should be careful. 
I have heard there is some rather poisonous flora in this area. Hey! I'm not going to eat poison! What kind of dummy do you think I am? I know exactly which plants are safe and which ones aren't. It is strange to see you this confident on a topic. But if you are so certain, I think I should give your eye a test. Just to be safe, you understand. We're doing what now? Ah, I know. What say we have a little game to see who can collect the most edible plants? What? And as an army can never have too much food, this will serve to benefit the others. <laughs> what a splendid idea. Oh, why me? Okay, so this one would cause stomach aches, and that one would be really bitter. Um, I think? Oh, I don't know. I've only ever seen it in books. But hey, I'm sure it's fine. I'll also take this one, and this one, and this one. And that one over! Wait, is that Ferdinand? Such luster, such size, such a gorgeous crimson! Yes, this looks like a scrumptious leaf indeed. Ah, and there are bulbs under this tree! Rich white bulbs with the luster of a precious pearl! Ah, I see. You were frightened by a mouse scampering by and took a bit of a tumble when you fled, yes? Yeah, and I dropped all my beautiful plants that your dumb game made me dumb collect! Never mind that now. Uh, show me your wound, please. Ah, uh, yes. Just a scrape. Still... We should return to base and treat it before it festers. Yeah, I suppose. Thanks for looking at it. Wait, that leaf! The one you're carrying! This one? What of it? If you were hungry, we could snack on it while we walk back. medicinal properties. It's a styptic. Well, what luck. We can use it to treat your wound. Well, I must say, your talent for identifying plants is no idle boast. Yeah, I eyeballed them pretty well, huh? Now let's take a look at yours and... What? <laughs> Are you at a loss for words with the quality of the plants I gathered? Every one of these is poisonous! What? But the gorgeous leaf! The robust vine! Death in plant form! Throw them away before we die! You'll see how hard I've been training.
The sun beats down on this unworthy soul. Let's earn our keep. Anyone tries to break through, make you pay. I love the ability to help you overcome this, but I'll assist all the same. So, what should I be doing? Sure, let's try it. Not a problem. I'm here to help. I'm on it. Just leave it to me. Guard this place with your lock. Time to wreck stuff. Pardon my ineptitude. I shall ex. After this, we'd like to You won't lose no matter what. So the 
This is a defeat. I'm serious. I train harder than everyone else, which is why I never lose. There you go. <laughs> I'm dragging the others down. Pardon my ineptitude. I shall exert what meager ability I possess. I'm on it. Just leave it to me. Strength to perform mighty deeds. Time to wreck stuff. We'll use this place as a launching point for our next assault. <laughs> Amazing what a little bloodshed can do. Just have me fight until there's nothing left. What can I say? I'm that good. I take stuff. It's what I do. I love the smell of a fresh brawl. Nice one. I can't use you to hide, so I'll have to beat you in effort. Is that all we've got? I suppose things can work out, if the enemy makes a mistake. You're not losing to anyone! Forgive me! I suppose I had this coming. Their defenses were lax, though I can't imagine why. Apologies. I got this. I shall not forget your final moments. I gotta keep up with you. This must be faint. My tears never cease. Ascend, the farther I can fall.
My allies deserve all the praise. We've finished laying out where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize blathed territory, that's when we'll move. And if it all goes wrong, the losses could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I'm not used to you being so worried about the big picture, Hilda. You've grown. I wasn't going to stay a kid forever, you know. Apparently not. I'm impressed. Look, Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire's already compensated us for any potential losses, and will continue to do so. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But they strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between your shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely not working. Easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what if here. Just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. A report, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we brought peace back to the area, too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Rodrigue has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side, though if it's for better or worse, is yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd all ride to the rescue if we could, but that's clearly not possible given the situation. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Four. Are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Gerald's mercenaries. They're the same band that carried the battle at Magdred Way, so I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. 
Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. The Empire is leaning over the Kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you think there will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it, but there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die, with that I agree. But shove that down the people's throats and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. Uh, perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. But I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ash and Ingrid chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. Nothing but the best for you. Come back soon. Welcome. Welcome. are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there. Need something? Is this it? 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 Is this it?
Is this it? Is this it? See you around. What's up? Time to work you into shape. Battle does have its benefits. I'm getting better, but at what cost? I won't let this stand in the way of my love. This is suitable. Time to work you into sh with proper training, you'll be unstoppable. <laughs> Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. I'm surprised you know what I like. Thank you. This is wonderful. Come back whenever you're hungry.
I will prepare the Scarlet Path. Let's get this over with. Do my best. The fight starts now. I'll paint us a path to victory. I never let an audience down. It cannot be. After this, stand back. Any final words? Perhaps we will incorporate this territory Take into our future strategy. Stand back. Keep your eyes on me. The spotlight is mine. Stop. Yeah. My turn. this. I 
think this will go well. I'm prepared. <laughs> be lost if I were to die here. Success. Just as we planned. This one's gonna be tough. is indeed a power that warrants caution. I feel no is smiling upon us today. One day. To kill is to grow stronger. I won't let myself stop here. I had this power within me all the while? The 
The Imperial Army will soon be knocking at our door. Why haven't Duval and Dominic stopped them? Baron, you'll never reclaim the title of Viscount your Lord Uncle lost if you go weak in the knees. Letting yourself be pressured into betraying the kingdom will see you cast out of the aristocracy for the rest of time. And your fickle nature would earn you the derision of both the kingdom and the empire alike. They'll view you the same way they do Count Roe. I care not. I've no interest in going to my grave just because I drew the shortest straw. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I figured you'd want to know we finished cleaning up the enemy's advanced troops. Excellent. You certainly live up to your esteemed reputation, Captain Geralt. I've never met a more reliable band of mercenaries in all my years. It's a shame we only engaged you for the one contract. I don't suppose we could convince you to extend your term of service. His Majesty the King has heard tale of your exploits. I could arrange for an introduction. Appreciate the offer, but that would mean going to Ferdiad. Hmm. I've got reasons for avoiding that place, so thanks, but no thanks. I see. It will be a shame to lose you, but I won't pry. It's nothing against you or the kingdom, mind you. Then I'll hold out hope we might fight alongside each other again someday. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Baron and I must inspect the camp. Best of luck to you in battle, Captain. You feeling any better? <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us. But it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. If you say so. With the war and the state it's in, the Empire is throwing everything they've got at this thing. I don't know if it's that or something else, but I've got a bad feeling. So watch yourself out there. I will. You do the same. Oh, right. I've been meaning to give you this. Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. Swords like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. Uh, I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? Do you think this might work? We need to work with what we have. This war is ours to be won. Another day, another stage to conquer.
fight starts now. Let's wrap this up quickly, shall we? Let's keep your wits about. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Prepare, go for it. There's not a question of can. Only a me Leave this time. I'm dragging the others down. The spotlight is mine. Yeah, stop.
The goddess is smiling upon us today. Not bad. One day the war will be over. Can't you just let me stay inside? Starts now. Hope this is one of those easy wins. Best keep your wits about. <laughs> it's not... There is not a question of can. Only a map. Leave this to me. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes. I'm on it. No charge. Just. Oh! <laughs> 
be lost if I were to die here. What can I say? I'm that good. <laughs> Amazing what a little bloodshed can do. Fighting's all I do these days. Take a breather. Time to wreck. I am your man. is a vital strategy. Victory moves us closer to great things. You're looking at the king of the battlefield. This will help me break new boundaries.
Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Gotta go. Any results, a good result.